Hello and a very warm welcome to this practice session. In this episode, I talk about something um, that I called reverse compression because it's an effect where a, a pet sounds like it is played reverse. But um, let me show you and let's get started. So um, I did a little um, pet sound with a, a kick. Uh, drum and I used a compressor to make it pump and then sound like it would uh, the the pad would uh, play backwards but let me show you um, the backwards part is in this area right now uh, right here and yeah just listen to it you will see, you will see it oh, yeah. Okay, and I did it like follow. So I used the search, um, did some notes in here. Oops, like three notes, like a chord. And I used the delay plus as a effect or like a reverb. So you could use every reverb what you uh, want to uh, use. Then I have a just a normal kick, nothing special. And with the search after the search or after the the synthesizer I used a compressor and I used a dynamics compressor from Bitwig because it's an upwards and a downwards compressor and that's an important part. So um, because we need to um, one time the uh, downward compression to get this pumping effect and uh, let me just um, put in the pumping effect over here uh, and I use a sidechain, the sidechain kick like this so i have an input signal and now i crank the ratio up and here you see it it's already compressing i put the attack down so i want the instant uh, um, attack it's on peak now i put down the threshold so i get the side chain the sig that the signal is completely pulled down so the pad is really pumping and with the release you see it over here every time every time it hits it goes directly down because it attack is on uh, 0.1 uh, milliseconds and then the release is going up again and waiting till the next pump but i want the release just to release shortly before the next uh, kick is incoming so it just make the release a little bit longer like this for example so now i have the pumping effect maybe i'll make it a little bit louder okay so and what i want to do now is i want to um uh, up i want to do upward compression compression and you see every time the kick hits, the sound gets ducked. And I use the upwards compression to make it uh, louder. So, but this is, uh, here you have to be very careful because if you crank up the ratio, you see something is upward compressing already. So if I put it over here, it gets louder and louder. So um, a little trick here is to use a, a macro. And with the macro, I'm doing this, modulating this knob, like one, and the low threshold, like this. Low threshold is over here, and every time I do this, you see it goes up. So if I play it right now, I have the pumping effect, and if I move this button, which is modulating the ratio and the low threshold. And the low threshold is moved here. You see it starts to increase the volume. And 
and that, and at the point where you where you reach from the bottom to the top you have the most um, noticeable effect do it like more it gets distorted it's not that nice but this is something this is something you can use if you have just a, a pet somewhere and it's like playing without any big effect or something you just use this to create some effect maybe you need to balance the volume a little bit because it's getting far louder or you could use this effect uh, for example before some drops or some breaks or something um, really nice effect. That's everything I wanted to show you right now. I hope you liked it. Um, and if yes, just leave me a comment. And I hope I see you soon in the next video. Stay healthy. See you. Ciao, ciao.